Hey guys, Tyronical here, and welcome back to another mock review. Now, I'm not even gonna try and hide that this is um that this is my first take at this review because so so I'm reviewing Bill, who was a character who appeared in episode two of Bionicle Plague. And if you haven't seen the episode spoilers, but I did a horribly cringeworthy Southern accent for Bill in the episode, and yeah, like I said, it was horribly cringeworthy. And I was originally going to um, talk in that accent for the whole review, but I could not keep a straight face. So, yeah, I'm just using my normal voice, and I'm not going to talk like this the whole episode, because this is how I did the voice for Bill. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, it was, uh, it was horrible. And I actually, I still have that the accent was horrible, and the failed cut I did was horrible. Now, I, I actually still have that footage, so if you guys would like to see the... Um, the failed footage of me trying to do this episode, then, um, just tell me below in the comments. But yeah, onto the mock review. So, um, again, if you haven't seen the episode, there will be spoilers, but as for backstory, so, this is, again, as usual, backstory of what we know of. So, Bill was a ally and companion of Gladiator back in his glory days when he was in the arena and actually a gladiator. Um, and he was part of a group of three, which was Gladiator, him, and another character who will be appearing later on. And that other character who will be appearing later on in Gladiator's backstory died. And he was heartbroken, and he, er, yeah, he was heartbroken, he was torn apart. So he left their Gladiator group and, like, vowed never to return. And then he went and started his own scrapyard where we find him there. And he pulls a gun on us at first, but then him and Gladiator talk about death and stuff, which, I gotta be honest, I put a lot of effort into that scene, and I put a lot of, like, heavy writing into it. So it's a shame that the animation in that scene was so crappy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, y yeah, I wish, if I, I wish, honestly, that's a scene I, I'm, I may actually remake in the future, because, yeah, I was not happy of how that scene turned out, or really how that... Yeah, uh, I feel uh, yeah, I feel like I've definitely improved a lot um, in my animation throughout these past few months. So, yeah, and I think that scene really shows that because, yeah, oh god, the animation in that scene was not very good. But yeah, I, I may actually remake that scene with a little bit better animation because, yeah, I think it, I felt because I put a lot of effort into the writing there. So, yeah, uh, I think a scene that dramatic probably deserved a little bit better writing, but yeah, I mean, not a little bit better writing. I think it deserved a little bit better animation, because if you haven't seen it, yeah, um, Gladiator and Bill, they talk about death and how to deal with it, and I probably didn't even convey that moral very well, but I don't know, I tried, and I, the animation again was pretty bad, so yeah, all right, enough, enough criticizing myself, so um, yeah, continuing the backstory, he helps us fight off the swarm of infected Bullrock, by the Plague Prowlers, and then he says that he's gonna go back to fighting after the pep talk he got from Gladiator about death, and yeah, we don't know what's happened to him since. We have seen his Toa mask, which was the uh, Mask of Jungle, and that's a little, there's a little spoiler and right here, so I will leave this to the end of the video if you don't want spoilers for um, Bionicle Plague, but I am gonna show, like, a different version of him, because... Alright, here, I'll get into that later. So, on to the actual build. So, um, you may see that I, the head, the head is pretty unique. So, basically, so, um, at the time I built him, I had just gotten an eBay lot, and I had gotten this, you know, I'm just gonna decapitate him quickly, and I had just gotten this Hero Factory 2.0 head, and I thought it'd be cool if I kind of built up a hat kind of design, like a top hat kind of design, so I built up that, which is built out some system stuff, and you can probably pretty easily see how that attaches. And, yeah, it probably wasn't the best design, but, you know, I thought it worked. And I just had this headpiece. I didn't have, like, the visors or anything for it. So, yeah, um, I thought it worked pretty well. And then, as for the torso, this mock is um, kind of painfully simple, if you, have not, if you haven't gotten the, um, the motive. But not the motive. If you haven't gotten the... What's the word I'm looking for? If you haven't gotten the... If you haven't gotten the vibe, that he's a really simple mech, I don't know. But yeah, so the torso, I actually built it around this, um, I have one available to me, actually. This Hero Factory 1.0 torso, and then I put this, uh, crap, what, 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 what was this armor piece first using? I want to say the 2004 Matoran? No, 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 they didn't use that. 
Comment below what where this armor piece was for. No, no, no. Was it the Toa? It might have been the Hor Toa Hordika. I, I don't know. Comment below if you know what um this armor piece was first used in. Uh, then I added some little details, you know, Bull Rock Eye in the back. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of just like a bunch of Technic pieces. And at the time, or not at the time, yeah, at the time I actually had, if I can find one, I actually had, all right, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this very well, but I had... Um, this armor piece in dark green, which I really wish I put on there, because that would have covered it up so well. But I ended up using it in a different mock, who um, pro I'll probably who may, may be appearing later on. You, you, you'll see, you'll see. So yeah, the torso um, really isn't the best. You know, I thought it, it worked. This whole mock, again, this whole mock, I kind of just threw together to be um, to serve the purpose of being, you know, just the character for the scrapyard. So yeah, I really didn't put too much effort into him. But yeah, I think he turned out pretty well. I didn't just, I didn't just like, I didn't, I, I tried to do something a little bit more than just a standard CCBS build. And yeah, I, th I think he turned out decently. Um, his arms are just CCBS. That's pretty simple. His legs are mostly CCBS, except I use this. Um, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try and attempt to say what that's from because I do not remember. And then, um, probably actually, possibly, um, my favorite part about him is the shotgun that I build up for him. So, you may be like, oh, that, that sucks, because it has all the red showing. Well, my idea was the red would be kind of like... This is going to sound stupid now that I'm saying it out loud, but it would be kind of like vents or like heaters or something. Something that would envy it, like, it was about to shoot and there was going to be force from red. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it made sense in my mind to use the red, not blue, and then I used the blue there, so this whole design kind of got ruined, but yeah, I really didn't want to use five black pins just here, because I needed them for other mocks, so yeah, I think if I had black pins, it would have looked a lot better, but you know, I, as, a thing, as a little shotgun design, I think it worked pretty well, um, this would be kind of like a safety, or like a, I, I not a prime, because you, if it was pump action, you saw in the stop motion, I, this would be kind of like a safety or something like that, um, that was my idea, so yeah, um, I just knocked him over. So yeah, um, overall, uh, I think the mock t this mock turned out pretty well. Again, he really isn't the most elaborate mock that I have, and he's definitely not one of my favorites. I'm not gonna pose him up like that because he is not gonna be able to stand. But yeah, I think he, I, uh, I think he still turned out pretty um, well. So um, yeah. So if you don't want spoilers for Bionicle Plague, then click off now. But if you're fine with that, and it's gonna be um, it's gonna be admittedly really mild spoilers. And it's just going to be about this character, so this character is going to return at some point, and he is going to be in a Toa form, and I thought I would kind of just do, uh, I thought I'd do a double review and just do his Toa form here, and not wait, because I, I really didn't want to do a second mock review for a mock that was pretty much simp um, like the same mock, just with um, armor added on, and you'll see how I added on. So, yeah, this is what his um, Toa form is going to be, and I just realized I forgot to do the size comparison. So, if you wanted a size comparison and you didn't want spoilers, I'm sorry, you're out of luck today. But, yeah, so, um, let me just, so, to go into his Toa form, I um, made some pretty simple change. I literally just take off his head, his weapon, and then put on his mask, which you saw in the video was his signature mask. Then, um, armor... Which he, um, you'll see how this, you'll see how this is all gonna get explained in the storyline. Armor's gonna be put on. And then his weapon, which I believe was also in the episode as like a little background weapon. But yeah, this was his signature weapon back in his glory days when he was in the arena and stuff. So yeah, this is how he's gonna appear later on. And this is his Toa form. Again, I thought I would just do a kind of double thing in this video. And not wait, because again, I didn't want to do two mock reviews. In fact, you know, I probably didn't even need to do this, because I probably wouldn't have done a mock review of this anyway. But whatever, I thought I'd include it anyway. And I will do that size comparison now, so we will get over here. Okay, and there we go. So, yeah, he's a little bit taller, but again, he is... Not the most elaborate mock ever, so, um, yeah. Thank you, Iwa, and I think that will wrap us up today. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed... Goodbye. <laughs> Comment below if you want to see. <laughs> and uh, by the way, I'm not saying I'm not saying that a southern accent is stupid. I don't want to sound offensive. I'm just saying that my southern accent is horrible. So, yeah. Comment below if you'd like to see um, me upload the failed 
recording of that. So we are. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.